Good morning. Good morning. Oh, it certainly is a good morning, isn't it? Look at that sky. Stunning. So today we are hiking, maybe two hikes in one day. So the first one is going to be to a waterfall, which looks very nice. Found this walk on Wikiloc, uh, six or seven miles, about three hours. So we're following somebody else's route today then. Yes. Oh, let's see if it's good as the Barney route. <laughs> The whole village is like this. It's just beautiful in every single direction. It's chilly. Literally, it's, yeah, the sun's out, clear blue skies. We're really high, I'm just gonna look at how high we are at the moment, but literally, we almost should be wearing gloves. Yeah, I'm heading for that sunshine in front of us. So we've walked from Isabel, it says 40 minutes, but it's only taken us half an hour. And next stop for us is the uh, Cascada de Bellabaz, which is 30 minutes. So that's going to take us, what, about 20, I guess. She looks happy. <laughs> she likes it. I like it. So we've just left the track now, and you can see the marker to show us the way to the Cascades. Looking nice. Very good to go. We found Eden. Wow. Is that the best thing or one of the best things you've ever seen waterfall wise? Amazing. Beautiful. The water was crystal clear. It was just Instagrammable, as they say. It's, it's Eden. It, it is Eden, yes. I have to say that that waterfall was worth the walk on its own. I would walk 10 miles just to spend 10 minutes there. Oh my God, the right one. Yeah. No matter what walk we do, we always end up having to do stuff like this. I can't actually get through, it's so thick, but possibly this way. That's it. And we're across. <laughs> There's so many holes. <sighs> Never a dull moment with the bounce. <laughs> and that definitely wasn't my fault. <laughs> that was tricky. That was fun. It's fun. I like I like that sort of <laughs> stuff anyway. Whoever chopped these trees down doesn't like hikers. <laughs> He must have been laughing his head off when he was doing this. God, a minute. There's more trickiness ahead.
I don't think you can get very far. Oh. Spider Central. Oh no, I, I, want, I came down, I want to see the bats. Oh, bats? Oh, I'm not going in I'm just joking. No, there's holes actually. Oh, is that a bat there? Yeah, probably are bats. Oh, I hate bats. Pretty impressive. It's big. There it goes. Oh, yeah. Just on the final stretch now, heading back into Isabar. Had to do a little bit of the road section there, but uh, back in the woods again, which is good. We wouldn't have been back in the woods. If it wasn't for me, they would be, babe. You were taking us along the road and I saw the stuff. Very good. So do I get kudos for that one? Kudos for you. Thank Michelle you. is a new map reader. Oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> oh, just an almighty climb up uh, on Michelle's route, but I think it's going to be worth it because it's brought oh, us up I can see. to have some great views over Isabar and I can see Katie. Uh, yes, it's wonderful. <laughs> Can I just tell you, I sang at the Fairfield Halls that when I, when I was in the choir at school and the person that wrote it was actually watching. Amazing, that I is. Know I was amazing, I was rubbish. I can't sing for toffee. Yeah, so what, were you solo doing that? No, I was in a big group. I was actually just mouthing it because I know I'm not very good. You were mouthing it? So yeah. were you told to mouth it? No. You're so rude! You're so cheeky! Do you know? Do you know? A few hundred years ago, this would have been the main road. Oh you wouldn't have got Katie down here, would you? This would have been horse and cart time, babe. Yes, horse and cart yeah. time. <laughs> we are back. So that was 6.6 .6 miles, just over a thousand feet of elevation gain. But now it's time to find something else to do for the rest of the day. This is the air that we wanted to get onto yesterday in Azaba. Uh, lunchtime now, I managed to get an okay, but absolutely typical. Look at this. Once attempt to see the uh, cassette. I'd have to get my swimming trunks on to go, <laughs> go and empty the cassette in there. That's not happening. Uh, second activity of the day, just a really kind of small one. We're going to ride to Zanki, which is about two and a half miles down the road, which is not far at all, but we're going to have a drink there. And also, we need to get back because when it gets, uh, when the sun goes, it gets really cold. Very cold, yes. So, are you ready? Yeah. Off you go. Short ride down the road, uh, and we've got our beer and wine at the uh, the cafe. Golas, <laughs> I said it all right last time. No, Golas Dunas. I asked for a red wine, but my Spanish is so rubbish. It's come out of the rose zone. Just not very good, are we? You're lucky you didn't end up with a frankfurter. <laughs>
after a busy day and is in the kitchen. What are we cooking today then, babe? Well, I'm not entirely sure because I don't <laughs> speak Spanish, but these are like a scallops. They've got cheese and I think ham in them, which sound quite nice. And this is just a stir fry of potato, courgettes, red peppers. Sounds lovely, actually. So we're just leaving our last kind of air, isn't it? It's free um, and you had water and the emptying facilities and everything. And we're now heading up the road to... border of Spain and France. Uh, we're gonna park near a refuge. It's all going on here, lots of, uh, <laughs> lots of traffic. This is the route that we walked yesterday along this road and coming out is that pretty little bridge. opens for the last section of the mountain here. It's not quite apple cross so this is uh, this is a breeze compared to that. Nice big wide roads. No chance of grounding out. Very safe, obviously. Wow. Oh, love it. Just leave you looking for a second. So this is the refuge, our next overnight stop. So this morning, obviously we're here now to have some breakfast at the top of the mountain. Look at those views from the window. Gorgeous. Bit of porridge. So Andy went out early this morning to go and get some uh, blueberries, didn't you baby? Yeah. Yeah. What's that? That is definitely, would you have even bought that? Obviously, it's grapes. Well, they look the same size and same colour as blueberries. I just that. Uh... <laughs> Never! They are definitely looking like grapes, Joe. Yeah, just hide them. Well, we've I've arrived. Can't come to a place like this and not do a fantastic walk, so we're heading up there. We're basically at the height of Snowdon at the moment, about 3,000 feet. And we're going to kind of walk 3,000 feet higher. So. Yeah, we'll be double the height of Snowden by the time we get up there. Let's show you the view. And there, just behind Andy, you can see the refuge.
This is tough going already with the altitude. You can see the road down there we've just left. Not an official footpath this, but we're cutting out that bit. We're gonna join up there somewhere. I have no idea what we're going to see about eight foot in front of us <laughs> but it looks interesting so let's let's go and have a look We're not done yet. Oh, my eyes are streaming. That's beautiful. That could be the border with France, or somewhere around there is going to be the border. Yeah, I think there. Uh, you've got some things there. I think it is. Up there is about a 20 feet, 30 foot, kind of bit like Kripgok. But it's no, wide. Not in this wind. Come on, look at it. It's, I think it's fine. I've just seen a guy run, run across the top of it. And then after that, there's, no, there's nothing like it. Nothing else like it. I think it looks fine. Gosh, but that guy there, he just ran across it like that. Yeah, but look, he's a lunatic. <laughs> You're a lunatic. You're following me. It looks tricky. Gotta watch where you put your feet. Perfect place for a spot of lunch. What do you think to the hike so far? Got my first meltdown, <laughs> only two days in. You bring me on some amazing places, babe. I mean, the views, gorgeous. That ridge over there, not so gorgeous. Not my friend, not fun. Better not be any more of that. There's no more ridges on this walk. Can't promise it for the rest of the holiday.
Your thing. Oh, your lipstick. No. It's, it's really dry. It's for listies, actually. Not lipstick. I can't find it. I think it's in this pocket, that's why. There's so many pockets. Eye makeup next. No! I am not like that. On a mountain, a girl's got to look good. Oh boy. I'm not even going to shave today. Really? It's high. Nice. Oh, high up, can't you? Oh, I say. Well, it's not far to Katie. It's just down there. So technically, we are actually kind of breaking the law at the moment <laughs> because uh, this is in France, and we haven't filled out our passenger locator forms. <laughs> so if we just stand over this side, then we're all good. Oh, you're in France. Come to Spain. Oh, that man was talking to us in French, wasn't yeah. it? Yeah. So, yeah. Everything across there is France. And everything on this side is Spain. So it's only two miles up here <laughs> and one hour of moving. And if you ever wondered what, uh, as you do, 1,400 feet looks like, well, that is Katie down there. 1,400 feet below us. Well, we're well and truly in France now. So we've just done a bit of a scramble down this bank here. I wouldn't recommend that route. We did it because we didn't want to walk have a lot further around and down to pick up this footpath. Not far now. You can see the refuge. Definitely feel a beer coming on. So we're back. That was uh, just five miles, 1,700 feet of elevation gain, and it took us a couple of hours of moving time. Probably can't hear anything I'm saying, but we're off to the refuge 
But look at the clouds coming in. See the sun shining on the top of the mountain now. Amazing. Looking forward to some dinner. Starters already arrived, literally sat down one minute or two minutes. And here's the salad. There's going to be a lot of food. <laughs> Second course. Michelle's getting worried how many courses there are going to be. And now we have chicken for Maine. Course three. <laughs> Finally, we reached the final course dessert. <laughs> it's been good. Amazing! It is pitch black outside, apart from one star, isn't it? And the moon. 26 euros for four courses. Feeling very full, but make sure if you do come, book first, because we were the last table, weren't we? Perfect. What a lovely end to an amazing day, babes. <laughs> High five! Woo!